Let me tell y'all something. And I got to admit, I have to say this because I know a lot of people may not feel what I have to say on this subject here, but you have to understand, 10 years is a long time of banning someone um, from an award show over a slap and embarrassment or whatever the case may be. Now, saying that, I'm also going to say this. It should have never happened. Chris Rock shall fully press charges on Will Smith. Is he, if he haven't already. If he had not it was an embarrassment. It wasn't only an embarrassment to the Academy. It was an embarrassment to black people. It was an embarrassment to, um, you know, it was an embarrassment to Chris Rock. Now, I, it was a total embarrassment. But 10 years of being in somebody... I don't know what Will Smith is going to do after this thing here. I don't know which direction he's going to go. I don't know what movie he's going to you know, do next or whatever. He may not even do any more movies. And Will Smith is sitting around right now. He's probably crying his eyes out after hearing this, after seeing this here. It's all in all the news outlets and every everybody's making me, uh, memes. You go on YouTube. You go all throughout the internet. You go on Facebook. Instagram, whatever. They're all making memes all the time about Will Smith because this is a total embarrassment. But 10 years, a lot of people may not agree with me, but I have to say, come on, five years, come on. People may, this this may even die down within five years. Ain't nobody going to be talking about this in no 10 years. I don't think anybody's going to be talking. We're talking 2032 by the time Will Smith can go on stage again. We're talking 2032. Seriously, by the time they about to end Social Security, which I heard, I don't know, that's still kind of a rumor. Will Smith can go back on stage. No one's going to be talking about this in 10 years. No one. I say give him five at least, but the Chris Rock should definitely press charges without a doubt. Anyway, let's 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 go talk about this for a minute. And then, Will Smith has been banned from the Oscars for ten years after slapping Chris Rock during last month's award show. The Academy made the announcement Friday in a letter sent by President David Rubin and CEO Don Hudson, and obtained by CBS News. The 94th Oscars was meant to be a celebration of the many individuals in our community who did incredible work. This past year, however, those moments were overshadowed by the un unacceptable and harmful behavior we saw Mr. Smith uh, exhibit on stage. The letter said, uh, "Today, the Board of Governors uh, convened a meeting to discuss how best to respond to Will Smith's action at the Oscars." The Board of the Re of Governors. Wow. The Board of Governors. Wow. Okay. That's basically uh, most of the governors throughout the country. Yeah. Okay. Uh, in addition to accepting his resignation, the letter continued, the board has decided for a period of 10 years from April uh, 8, 2022, Mr. Smith shall not be permitted to attend any academy events or programs in person or virtually, including but not limited to the Academy Awards. He can't even, listen, Will, you can't even show up virtually. You can't even show up through Skype or do any of those other kind of, virtually? Damn. They really punishing the man. This is some really messed up news. They are seriously punishing Will. In a statement to CBS News, uh, Smith said, I accept and respect the Academy decision. Well, they gave him no choice. What are you going to do? You going to appeal it? You can go to court and appeal it. You probably lose that case. But you can try. You just gave in and said, I accept my resignation. And that's that. I'm being banned for 10 years. I can't even show up virtually. Now, being at a place in person is one thing. 
but virtually sitting in your home on a computer watching a show, come on, man. How are you going to ban somebody virtually too? He's not there. He's watching through Skype or Zoom or whatever. Damn, that's that's messed up. That really is. I'm sorry. The whole, the physical thing of 10 years, okay, you know, it's a long time, but okay. But virtually, come on, man. You got to agree with me. That's crazy. Ruben and Hudson also think Raku has said he's, Processing what happened for maintaining his composure under extraordinary circumstances, which he did. Chris Rock stayed professional throughout this whole ordeal. And that was the best thing Chris Rock to do. Instead of getting into a fight or whatever, I know he got embarrassed. You know, it was it was totally embarrassing because Chris Rock could have did a, and then Chris Rock would have been banned too. But Chris Rock stayed professional. He still stayed as a comedian even while being slapped. He still maintained his position. And he did not, uh, you know, he didn't go overboard. He still maintained what he was there for. And I applaud Chris Rock for that. I really do. Chris Rock is the one who's the upper, the uh, the better person in this whole thing. It's Chris Rock. And I, and I applaud him for it. I really do. Because he could have, he could have been, been on some nigga shit and did and, and fought Will Smith on stage like two niggas would do. But he said, no, nah, I'm going to, the Academy Award told me to be a host and be professional, be a comedian, and that's exactly what I did. I didn't do anything wrong. And he didn't. Chris Rock stayed professional. The only thing Will Smith did, he looked at, he first was laughing, like I said in my other video. He first was laughing. Then he turned to Jada and seen that she wasn't laughing, who embarrassed him. In, uh, this is all, This is totally Jada's fault. Totally Jada's fault. She embarrassed him. I don't care what nobody says. Now he's being banned. This is another embarrassment that Jada Pinkett Smith did to Will again. You did it to him on TV again. The man is already losing his mind. Now you want to fuck with his career. I'm pissed. I'm mad. Jada Pinkett bears him again, and now he's 10 years. 10 years he can't, he can't even show up virtually. God, think about that. Yeah, I'm not even there in person. I can't even show up on, on Skype. Calm down, man, ain't you? Uh, they said that Cammy did not adequately address the situation in the room. Anyway, you can read all of this. It, it goes on and on and, you know. But listen, man, this is just bad for Will. And, you know, oh, my God, I just can't believe, like, yo, you're at your lowest point. The only thing good about this, Will, is that you won an Oscar for Best Actor, um, for the, the King Richard. That's as good as it gets. You can't even show up virtually. What it basically, what now, now what I'm starting to think about it, virtually basically meaning if you won an award show, you can't even accept the speech on, on Skype through the internet, basically. Live via whatever. You can't even show up there. This is bad, man. But blame Jada. Blame Jada. This is her damn fault. This is her fault. <sighs> I'm done, y'all. I just wanted to let y'all know. I just wanted to vent a little bit. Because I blame Jada. I still do. I'm not going to stop. It was Jada's fault. Anyway. I'm out.